Okay, how are we doing today, guys? Um, unfortunately, I cannot be in class, so I am doing this video tutorial. Hopefully, it'll give you some helpful information for uh, making some of the, the uh, new assignments that are on Blackboard. Um, and let's start off by opening up our inches template. So I'm going to get that selected and I'm going to open up that file and you'll notice that of course up here now my template file has turned into a drawing file and that's exactly what we want to see. I see that I've got my layers that, uh, that I've created and you should have your layers that you've created in your template. Um, and the thing that I want to talk about today um, we've uh, the past week or last week rather we spoke about the drawing tools and now it's time to start getting into the modify commands all right or the modify tools and the two big ones that I want to start off with um, are going to be the the trim uh, the trim and extend command and also the offset command okay um, <clears throat> Obviously, if you hover your mouse over uh, any one of these, it gives you a little brief overview. And if you uh, keep your cursor there, your mouse there, then it'll open up into a little definition window and give you an example of exactly what that particular command does. So um, read through those, listen to this video tutorial, watch this video tutorial, and uh, hopefully you can get through the next assignments, okay? But for an offset, what we're looking for is an easier way to create, I guess, patterns. Um, and I'm going to go grab my line tool. All right? It's basically like grabbing a pencil. I'm grabbing my line tool, and it's asking me to specify my first point. So I'm going to draw a line. So I'm going to left click, bounce there, and I'm not going to be pretty exact here, but I'm going to left click out here and I'm going to hit escape to get out of the line command and you'll notice that I've got a green line on a slight incline um, and this line segment I want to be able to offset it by let's say an inch or so okay so I'm gonna go up to my offset and this again the icon looks like a little thumbs up or a submarine um, I'm gonna left click on that and the first thing that it asks me is to specify an offset distance. Okay, um, I said I wanted to offset it by one inch, so on my keyboard I'm going to type 1.00, hit enter, and then it asks me to select the object to offset, um, or I have the option to exit or undo. Okay, but seeing as this is an exercise on offsetting, I figure we'd select the object. So left click on the object and if I track my mouse upwards you'll notice that it gives me a line an inch away from the original one that I selected and if I track my mouse down then it does the same thing in the opposite direction. So wherever I track my mouse it'll move that offset by one inch of the line segment or arc or whatever piece of geometry that I've selected. So I can track my mouse all the way up here and it's still only going to offset it by one inch. So I'm going to left click to set it and I've offset this line by one inch. And the good thing about this command is that it doesn't quit after I have set my uh, or offset my, my line segment or, or other piece of geometry. So um, it continues on saying select an object to offset. So I can continue by left click an object and then left click to set it. Left click an object, left click to set it. And I can do the same thing uh, going the other way. And I can essentially create a pattern. All right, and this works with circles as well. So I'm going to hit escape to get out of that command. I'm going to go to my circle tool and I'm going to create a little circle here and go to my offset tool. And let's say we're going to offset this by half an inch. So I'm going to type in 0.5, hit enter, and it's asking me to select an object to offset. 
and I'm going to select my circle and depending where, whether, where I track my mouse I'm going to offset it inside a couple of times and let me offset it onto the outside a couple of times now when I'm picking a new offset I have to pick the latest one to offset I mean if I chose this line to offset here it's just going to give me a double circle in this position okay that doesn't really do me any good so we can continue to offset this one it can't go any further it's telling me that so I need to go ahead and choose one to the outside okay and essentially this works with any uh, any line any arc any circle any polygon that you guys create one thing to be aware of and this is where lines and polylines come into play um, I'm going to quit the command and just window over everything and hit delete. Oops. Hit delete, get rid of it all. And I'm going to draw a square. Turn my ortho on. A square that is, let's say, six inches by six inches. And I'm going to right click and close and it should go to the beginning and it does whoops sorry about that and I'm gonna do the same thing using the polyline so I'm gonna create a six inch square using a polyline and right click to close okay so my square on the left hand side was drawn using lines the square on the right hand side was drawn using polylines. Now if you get confused, if you take your cursor or your mouse and just hover over the line and leave it there, you'll notice that it tells you that this particular line segment is a line. The color is controlled by whatever layer it's on, and the layer that it is on is the object layer, and the line type is controlled by the layer. All right. If I come over to the other square, and leave my mouse there you'll notice that it tells me that it is indeed a polyline okay and the color and the line type are controlled by the layer that it's on and the layer that it's on is the object layer so just by leaving my mouse there eventually it'll pop up and give you a brief explanation as to what type of line or what type of type of arc uh, or what type of geometry you're working with or command you're working with um, so in terms of offsetting, one thing to be aware of is if you have separate line segments, all right, we're going to specify an offset distance. All right, make sure you click the offset command by 0.5. So I'm just going to hit enter. And watch what happens and what the difference is between a line segment and a polyline. So I'm going to offset that. That looks normal but if I wanted to offset the whole entire square to the outside or to the inside let's do some to the inside now then you see we start running into a little bit of trouble because it's not exactly what I was looking for the square drawn with a polyline if I continue on with the command it recognizes that it is one entire object and it creates the offset as one entire object so it ignores all the different individual line segments and it sees that this is one giant uh, line made of separate line segments and it keeps those all those line segments together so if you're gonna create squares uh, I would recommend using the polyline command or using the polygon command and choosing uh, four sides for your polygon to create the square and that'll give you the same effect okay so with uh, with that being said this kind of brings up a a good introduction into the trim and extend and extend commands with trim I'll show you how trimming works <clears throat> trimming works with boundaries okay um, so if I click trim all right so I selected trim I've left left clicked on the word trim and it's asking me to select 
objects. Okay. Typically, what it's asking you to do is to set up boundaries. And let's say, for instance, that I, I have this line segment right here. And I want to trim off this little bit and this little bit. right? So I just have the, the center over here. Well, what I need to do is I need to set the boundary. So I'm going to select this line segment as a boundary. and this line segment as a boundary. All right, and I can keep on selecting, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to leave it at two two line segments. And to move on to the next part of the command, I have to right click. So I right click, and then it says select objects to trim. Okay, so because I've made my boundary, this line is my boundary, and this line is my boundary, I'm going to select out here and it trims the line up until the boundary point. All right, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to select this line and it trims it up until the boundary point. Now if you have a lot of trimming to do this might become a little bit confusing. Um, so what I would advise is to just select the entire uh, model and then you don't have to go back and, and figure out what boundaries you need to select and which ones you need to ignore. Um, you can work with the whole thing. Um, so, for instance, in this particular case, I'm going to hit the trim command and I'm going to select objects. In order to do that, I'm going to use the window, the green window screen, and select everything. And now I've got all my line segments and elements selected. I'm going to right click to move on to the next part of the command and I can go ahead and trim out all of these additional lines that I don't need so that it my so that it looks somewhat like my offset. Okay. Um, and I'm going to right click to uh, hit enter or you can just hit enter and it exits out of the command and I've created my inner offset there. Similarly with the extend command, um, what I'm going to do for this particular one is I'm going to select it and just extend the line segments a little bit manually. Just like that. And hit escape a couple of times, kind of normal this out. Um, and what I want to do is I want to be able to extend this line to a particular boundary. So this time let's hit the drop down arrow next to trim and we're going to pick extend. Okay, And again it says select the objects. So when it says select objects, all right, you'll notice uh, right above the command line it says select boundary edges. All right, So that's what I want to do. I want to select the boundary. So this line is going to be my boundary and this line is going to be my boundary. And I'm going to right click to move on to the next part of the command and it says select the objects to extend. So if I click on this side of the line, I'm going to left click and it extends the line to the boundary. I'm going to click on this side here on to the right and it extends the line to the boundary. And if I do the same thing towards the bottom, now I've got myself a square that looks a little bit familiar to the polyline square that we offset earlier on. Okay, and I'm going to right click, hit enter, and now here I've got two options. I can use the trim tool and trim off those edges, or I can use the grips, okay, with O snaps. So I'm going to select the line segment and I'm going to turn my O snaps on so that I can see endpoints. And I'm going to left click on that handle and bring it down until I see the endpoint O snap. I'm going to left click to set it there. I'm going to do the same thing from the bottom. All right, once I have that line segment snapped, then I'm going to hit escape. And it looks like this side here. All right, with the left side, we're going to use the trim tool and we're going to trim that out. Okay, so again, it's asking me to select my. Uh, my objects or my cutting edges 
and by default I just like selecting everything and I'm done selecting things so I'm going to right click to move on to the next part of the command and I'm going to select these little tails that will come off or be trimmed off and I can right click hit enter and now I've got two squares made two different ways um, obviously the trimming is a lot more work um, but at times you will need to trim whether it be uh, circles to create arcs or to create fillets um, or various radii um, you're going to need to use that trim tool all right if you have any questions find me on blackboard and email me those questions or just wait for tuesday and i can answer any questions at that point in time all right good luck uh, your assignments are all on blackboard have fun